Hey kids, it's La Mena. I just figured I would make a lovely little science video here from my sofa, and I plan on doing a lot more of that soon. Just thinking about starting like a little TV show, science from my sofa. I don't know, I liked it. This would be where I would insert like cool graphics and like a catchy little theme song like science from my sofa, except I don't know how to do any of that. This is just me and a phone and maybe, maybe learning how to edit an iMovie before I put it up. It feels like work though and I'm on summer break. So I wanted to address something. A lot of people are finding reasons not to wear masks and we're not out of the woods of the coronavirus yet. So a lot of people that I, I've seen it's killing me, man. There's so much bad science out there. It just, it, it hurts my heart. It hurts my feelings. So I'm gonna, you know, shoot holes in it. One of the big things I've seen is like, I don't want to wear a mask because it's like bad for my oxygen. I'm like not taking in as much oxygen as I need to because, you know, you taught me, Lamena, that I need oxygen. Great. Good. I'm glad we have a fact going on. Let's find out because that sounds like a hypothesis to me, right? A hypothesis, if then statement. If I wear this mask, then I won't have as much oxygen in my bloodstream. You know what we do with hypotheses? We test them, we test them, and we test them, and we test them until we can either confirm them or support them, or we kill them. So, sorry, I'm in a mood. I happen to have a little piece of medical equipment here called a pulse oximeter. The oxy part meaning oxygen and the meter meaning measure. So I'm going to turn this guy on, put it right on top of my uh, shiny yellow nail polish, and we're going to just wait and see. And I am at 98% oxygen saturation. You can see my pulse there, which is probably impacted by my amount of caffeine. Now, remember that 98%, right? I am going to wear this mask which is gorgeous, and I got from a local woman who makes masks, which was nice, and it goes all the way down there. By the way, just so that we are clear, this is not how you wear the mask. This, with your nose hanging out, is not how you wear the mask. And then, this, is how you wear the mask. So, I am going to sit here and breathe and be human and take an oxygen and talk too much. I really hope I figure out a way to speed this up in video editing because otherwise you guys could just like fast forward. This part's gonna be like seriously boring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here for a good like 10-15 minutes <sighs> and just breathe. I don't know if you've noticed with all the talking, I'm not running out of oxygen. <sighs> but let's give it some time. Hypotheses need to be tested. All right, guys, it has been about 15 minutes. Let's find out if I died yet from lack of oxygen. Here's my pulse oximeter again, same finger, and let's wait. Hey, look, 99% saturation. I'm actually breathing really well in this, but you might be saying to yourself, but Lamena, you're just sitting there doing nothing. Couch potato. Right. Yes. Did you know that even potatoes use oxygen? Because, of course, plants also do cell respiration, but they also happen to make their oxygen through photosynthesis. Shh, I'm off topic. So I need to exercise or move around, right? Because, you know, if you're in the grocery store for that whole, you know, 20 minutes of your life, you're going to need to use a mask. Maybe you might move around. Okay.
Are you tired of this yet? Hey, look. Let's see if I died. One more gorgeous time for the children at home. See, my pulse is faster. Hey, look at that. 95% oxygen, which is still perfectly adequate. Really good, and it's only because I went into oxygen debt by exercising. That's it. Just wear the mask. You're not gonna die from low oxygen. And by the way, the people who are saying, oh, but it traps carbon dioxide next to your mouth, and like, that's bad for you. You're right, carbon dioxide poisoning would be bad. Except, your mask would have to be made out of like hermetically sealed plastic. It would have to be perfectly, perfectly sealed to your face because carbon dioxide is so super tiny. This mask is not gonna stop it. It doesn't even fully stop virus particles, which are like huge compared to a carbon hanging out with a couple of oxygen friends. I love you. Wear the mask. Not under your nose. That looks stupid. Bye.